Hey guys, and welcome to a 3DS Max tutorial, another one by me, Jan Chernikov, and, um, we'll be creating water. Now, this doesn't look too good, I know. We'll make, we'll, we'll make ours a bit better. Oops. But, um, mainly what we're doing is we're creating material that is different according to the, um, objects around it. So, this is ray traced water, rendered with the default scan line renderer. Um, I have another one, another tutorial, with using mental ray renderer, and, um, with water, and it's, it's a lot better, it's just that I wanted to just teach you the different types of water that you can actually create, and, um, yeah, you know, we'll be focusing around this, and this material, as you can see, here it is, and, um, doesn't look at, at all like this, because what it, what this reflection, ray trace reflection does is it, it actually, um, it, uh, it reflects what is above it, so if, if it's an open place like a, a garden, when you want a swimming pool there, this obviously won't work, so just go to Mental Ray, I've had another tutorial come out short, shortly after this one, a couple of days, maybe a week, two weeks, and, um, it'll be, um, much more of a help to you, because, you know, this is, this is just one way of doing it. So, let's get started. I'll just go new. And reset it. Yeah, so firstly we want to create a box. Um, not too high. Just, just make it like 500 by 200 by 3. And um, just shift, click and drag to, du to duplicate it. Make a copy. Um, do it again. Snap to rotate, and we want to rotate it, no, minus 90, 90, same thing, um, just 90 degrees. And, um, just position it well. Alt W, or just the th this uh, thing here, just, um, actually makes it, uh, a full screen, the viewport. Just a good idea to use it, whoops. And we want to make one more copy for the back. I, I guess you could probably do this by yourself without me <laughs> teaching you how to do this because this stuff is very basic. But, um, you know, I'm just doing it all just so that I don't magically do something. You can see everything I'm doing. Just scale it down. I'm looking at the front viewport to get it perfect and um, right click to activate a viewport and um, you know that's pretty good select it all um, uniform scale scale it up maybe flatten it a bit make it a bit bigger now because we'll be frequently getting out of this viewport a lot and we want to maybe preserve a good view that we found such as this one We can actually just turn the grid off. Um, that's a pretty good view. We want to save this. We can go views, create camera from view, and that's it, you know. Just P, or over here, select perspective from camera 1. And now we can do it. Now C, just gets us back to that view. It's, it's as easy as that. We might just back our camera up a bit. And so, um, yeah, let's get started with the materials, M. To open up the editor, materials editor, name this water. Um, and go down here to maps. Don't touch any of this stuff. Check reflection, click on none, and click on ray trace. Now, it's a reflection, so it'll look grey in here. But that's okay. Make sure it's enabled. Um, this is go to parent. This is go up to the last view that we saw. Click it here to edit it. And um, now if we just put that in there, sorry. Just he maybe get out of that a bit. Um to box one. Um if we render it, it'll reflect it. But it's perfect. And water is not perfect. I don't study water, but I know that it's not perfect. And so to make it um 
less perfect, we can add bump modifier, click on none. There are two here that are pretty good. Noise is the one we'll use, but smoke is pretty good because it's like a random thing. I might quickly show you that, um, if we just render that out. It'll, it'll do something, it, it needs to be set to a very, very small size. Sorry, other way, round. To a very large size and maybe blur it out a bit even. But, um, it's, it's a bit grey and thick, so we won't use that. We'll use, um, we'll use noise, because it just takes a while to configure. And this is very fine. So, we want to put it to fractal. You can see the difference between regular. You might want to use turbulence. Turbulence isn't a bad one to use. Um, maybe turn the size up to like 7. But um, turb turbulence isn't bad. Creates a lot of grey stuff though. So fractal is is pretty good for us. And um, maybe it's size to 5. Play around with the levels a bit. And um, just put that stuff up a bit. And um, just just really play around with this. Um, just a bit down. Um, blur it out a bit. Levels two. Um, maybe point two and size three. Just until you get a, a pretty cool water. Now you want to turn this down to like 15. And this will give you a, a pretty good look. Um, my turn specular a bit up. And glossiness a bit up too. Just to make it shine a bit. Um, I might just turn this to one of my favorite ones. 35 millimeter, 1 to 1.66 to 1. Which will be good, it'll render slow, it'll render faster than HD. Now we're just receiving some grey stuff here and we don't really want it. The reason is that our camera is not facing that way. So, um, might want to adjust that in a second, but, um, you know, the reflection may be to 85, we don't want it to reflect too much. Just some dim out that reflection. Now, um, what we can also do is we can, um, we'll just add a light, an omni light, just to here. And, um, just get out of that. And, um, here it is, just bring it into your box. Make sure it's in it. Render that out. Already this is looking a lot more like water. We'll actually make one more material just over here actually because this will be our walls. Might want to name it walls. Might want to name this one um a roof. Ceiling roof. And um P I'm sorry. Over here P for perspective. And we want to make it black. Because we don't want to draw too much detail to the roof. Back to C for camera one. It'll be black, and you know this this is looking this is looking okay. We might just turn up the specular a bit and the glossiness. So it'll just just shine a bit more. But um, you know, it's reflecting. It's not looking very good because we're not reflecting much because this is just purple. But um. You know, this won't do anything in this case, but um, it's it's looking okay, and um, definitely check out part two because, in my opinion, it's looking terrible right now. Might be better than what, what whatever you've done, but um, you know, we'll actually um look at in the next one just creating um, creating something beneath the water, like a couple of maybe rocks or just a texture. So that because water is usually see-through. That's all we have time for. And um, check out part two. I'm Yanchonikov. And thanks for watching. And I'll see you in part two.